<laughs> like, I, I understand why people love this song so much. It fluctuates through like 18 different genres. Hey everybody, my name is Marco. I'm a pro opera singer turned voice actor, and I've listened to Drift, Happy Chaos's theme, quite a bit now, and I feel like I can make an appropriate analysis of it. It is insane. I have no idea what the hell is going on here, but holy <laughs> is it great. Let's listen to it and jam out. Right, so knowing where we're gonna go, the fact that this theme starts out with this like very fun piano jazz aesthetic is fascinating to me. I don't know the, the lore behind Happy Chaos just yet, we'll get there uh, in this video, but what I love is the playful enthusiasm with which we start the song. It's like this blues jazz thing, it's very playful. Um, you know, Happy Chaos, to me, exudes this confidence and like, fuck it, you know what I mean? Like, that's sort of the personality that comes across in this music. Probably not someone you should mess with, per se, not because he's maybe mentally unstable, but certainly because he doesn't give a shit. and if you get in his way, he's gonna let you know. And I think that that's pretty fun. It took me ten years to find the answer something. I also find the lyrics kind of funny. It took me 10 years to find the answer to something and I forgot about it in two seconds. Which to me is kind of like this laissez le bon temps couleur. Like that's that's not how you say that phrase. But essentially like he kind of doesn't care, right? Like yeah, I'm, I'm searching for an answer, but you know what? Pfft, whatever. There's a hundred of me. The truth is not always real. I don't want any conclusions. I have no idea what that means. That's about it! Like, I, I understand why people love this song so much. It fluctuates through like 18 different genres, number one. Number two, it has this like beautiful blend of jazz, uh, Freddie Mercury, uh, Queen, and then in the middle we've got this like kind of hardcore rock aesthetic, which I think really is actually the crux of who Happy Chaos is. Unbridled enthusiasm and almost reckless enjoyment of life to the point where he's like, who cares about anything? I'm just happy to be here. Well, I guess happy chaos, that makes sense. And I also think we derive that idea because listen to the way, yeah, the way that we descend in the uh, chord is really fun. Like this is so fun. That's about, like that is so like, well, whatever, you know? something I haven't noticed before. First of all, holy syncopation, baby. But also, I see you too. Listen to the way the harmony ends up here. that this section actually because of the way that the drums are sort of all over the place there is a lack of consistency or grounding this actually gives me the feeling that this is not a, a situation where happy chaos wants to find himself in there's almost like a feeling of discomfort at having this many versions of himself or that many eyes on him the truth is not always real. I know I'm trying to make sense of lyrics that don't necessarily make sense, but like part of what I do and part of what I've done as an opera singer is understand why we say what we say and how we say it. This is all being said while underneath there's this incredible syncopation of the drums and it's very like aurally violent, indicates to me that this is not something that's great. It's not something that 
is wanted. It's actually something that is frustrating. I don't want So that's really interesting. I actually think that's the crux of the character. I drift tonight carried by the waves. I will just be a black sea. I drift tonight the finite one and the infinite one. This is the statement, right? And sometimes characters tell us what their wants are based on questions or statements. I drift tonight carried by the waves. I will just be a black sea. I drift tonight the finite one and the infinite one. So I wonder if actually Happy Chaos is immortal or like the decisions that he's made. I drift tonight carried by waves. I am just kind of rolling with it. It doesn't matter to me what happens, whatever. I will drift by a black sea, the black sea. You can't see anything in that black sea. It's all pitch black possibly. So there's a, like a loss of control because of being I, I don't know. It, it's, it's really cool. It took me 10 years to find the answer something. I forgot about it in two seconds. I don't have anything that's really important to me. That's why everything is beautiful. That's another statement. It took me 10 years to find the answer to something. I forgot. Uh, I don't have anything that's really important to me. That's why everything is beautiful. Yeah, I think again, I think that this speaks to recklessness and a little bit of restlessness as well. And I actually wonder if Happy Chaos's actual theme is the slower jazz part and not this crazy rhythmic drumming section. You know, especially we have the part coming up, da, 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 the queen section. I wonder if that's not who Happy Chaos is. I just love this section, right? Can you hear it? The pulse of the living, that erratic rhythm is a grand orchestra. It's very exclamatory. It's never the same tone, who wants to stop this? It's really introspective, and it's really, really trying to find the answers that are not possible to find. There's an anxiety in that. There's an angst. There's a, a feeling of loss. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to drift by the Black Sea being carried by the waves, you know? We have to think about that, that three-dimensionality about these characters. Tone, who wants to stop this? There can be When the violent storm is over See, 
Wait, that's actually exactly it. Holy sh**. When a violent storm is over, the blue sky is more beautiful than ever. You see, I want that. I want that. It sounds like Beauty and the Beast. It's, it's really interesting. Let's listen again, because it's so good. It's never the same tone. Who wants to stop this? There can be. When the violent storm is over, What a crazy song. Looking at uh, Happy Chaos's personality, Happy Chaos's originally, original personality is largely unknown, but he's a man who became overwhelmed by the complete knowledge of, oh, by the complete knowledge of the universe, seemingly losing his sanity and becoming an unusually pure being. He views the concept of good and evil as equal values, making him potentially end up causing major incidents or being on the side of justice. Chaos is an erratic and unpredictable individual befitting his name. The reason he causes turmoil is due to him loving the emotional part of today's immature culture. As humans pursue efficiency, they become mechanical and lo lose emo. Once it arrives, thus Happy Chaos does his best to always stir trouble and cause problems in any sort of way he can without giving a direct answer. This leads him often orchestrating scenarios purely to create drama, for example, pitting humans against one another in life and death such or death scenarios, sometimes without considering the consequences. Though mercurial and seemingly childish, Chaos is actually calculating and highly manipulative and keenly aware of his own nature and weaknesses. He often plans many steps ahead and is able to carry out exceptionally complex deceptions, often for little more than his own amusement. Even so, he enjoys taking things slow, enjoys the journey more than the destination, and prefers the, to devise strategies on the fly rather than to plan everything out ahead of time. And that really makes a lot of sense, actually, when you look at the way that the lyrics and the singing goes. Imagine having all the knowledge of the universe and not knowing what to do with it. Of course you would play, because you would know. You would know everything, and everything is essentially full of meaning and meaningless at the same time. It's really, that's surprisingly deep. And uh, that is my Guilty Gear Strive uh, surprise of the day, that's for certain. Anyway, if you like this, feel free to like, subscribe. There's more Guilty Gear on the channel. And as always, thanks a ton, and I'll see you later. Bye.